Only a phenomenal and purposeful fighter will conquer the heights of martial arts, despite setbacks and a series of defeats. Only a strong-willed warrior who loves to fight very much after an unsuccessful career in professional boxing will try himself in mixed martial arts and achieve great success in the sport. We are talking about the American fighter, Don Fry, nicknamed Predator. He is considered one of the first versatile fighters in MMA. Fry won UFC 8, Ultimate Ultimate 96, and finished second in UFC 10 in his first year of pro. Despite his negative 5-2-1 record in professional boxing, he has achieved a 20-9-1 record in mixed martial arts and has yet to build a brilliant career as a professional wrestler. Let's remember the Predator's fighting path and enjoy his spectacular knockouts. Don Fry got his start in martial arts with wrestling during his school days. He continued to fight in college, where he was coached by future UFC champion Dan Severn. He has won several prestigious competitions in freestyle and Greco-Roman wrestling. On the varsity team, Don's sparring partner was also future champion and UFC star Randy Couture. After university, Fry devoted a year and a half to boxing training. After that, he changed several professions and even worked in a psychiatric hospital until he broke a patient's arm while holding him. During this time, Fry also took up judo and earned a second and black belt. In 1995, Don Fry participated in Dan Severn's training camp and helped him prepare for the Ultimate Ultimate 96 tournament, in which Dan became the winner. Fry was inspired by this rapidly developing type of martial arts and decided to try his hand at MMA. John Fry made his debut in February 1996 in Puerto Rico at the UFC 8 tournament, where eight fighters fought according to the Olympic system. The tournament had no weight divisions or weight limitations. A 10-minute time limit was set for all matches of the tournament and 15 minutes for the final. Don's corner was champion Dan Severn. Many years later, Fry will say that he is indebted to Severn for changing his life. In the quarterfinals, Fry fought 410-pound Puerto Rican Thomas Ramirez, for whom it was also his MMA debut. In this fight, the UFC organization record for the fastest knockout was set. Immediately after the gong, the fighters simultaneously threw a jab, and Fry immediately went on the offensive. He threw out a couple of direct blows and with a right cross cut down Ramirez on the canvas of the octagon. One finishing blow from the Predator and the referee stopped the fight, which lasted only 8 seconds. Dwayne Ludwig was actually able to beat this record 10 years later, knocking out Jonathan Goulet in 6 seconds. A successful debut for Don and he brightly advanced to the semifinals and Thomas Ramirez never entered the octagon again. In the semifinals, Fry faced the experienced Sam Adkins. This tournament was also a debut for him. This duel also did not last even a minute. The fighter started the round with reconnaissance jabs. Fry made a one-leg pass and landed a takedown. He turned on his powerful ground and pound with hammer fists from side control. In the 48th second, the referee stopped this beating. Spectacular victory and a quick ticket to the final for Don. In the final, the Predator forced Gary Goodrich to surrender and became the champion of the 8th UFC tournament. A strong start in MMA gave John confidence and he returned to the octagon at the next UFC 9 tournament in three months. He was scheduled to fight fellow Brazilian winner Marco Huas, but Huas was injured and replaced by Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu master Amari Batetti. He held a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and was a world champion in this discipline. The fight started with a Brazilian sidekick. The fighters continued to fight in the clinch, where Fry dominated more, and the fighters tried to carry out takedowns. Batetti made a pass to the legs, but Don successfully defended himself and ended up on top. After a short stall, the fighters again grappled in the clinch. They exchanged uppercuts, and then Fry fed his opponents with crosses and knee strikes, after which the Brazilian had blood on his face. Again, the fight continued on the ground, dominated by the Predator. He constantly came up with something on the ground to inflict more damage on his opponent. But Teddy tried to close the guard in defense as best as he could. <laughs> Referee Big John McCarthy got the fighters upright, but not for long. The Brazilian immediately made a pass to the legs, and after Fry's throw, the fighters were on the ground. 
again control of the Predator, in the ground, and again a lot of hard elbows to the head of the Brazilian. Again, Big John raised the fighters to the rack, and again an unsuccessful takedown for Batetti. He grabbed Fry's shorts and kneecap and took a knee to the head. The Brazilian defensed passively, and the referee stopped the fight in favor of Don Fry. Batetti had three more MMA fights and won all of them. He is considered by many to be one of the best Brazilian Jiu Jitsu masters of all time. At the next UFC 10, the organizers decided to return to the tournament format, and Don Fry fought in the first fight of the quarterfinals with American kickboxer Mark Hall, nicknamed Cobra. He held a 3-1 MMA record at the time and was famous for knocking out 390-pound world sumo champion Koji Katao in 42 seconds at UFC 9. Hall started the round with a solid back kick, while Fry immediately made a pass and executed a beautiful slam. For 10 minutes, Fry dominated the ground. Hall closed the guard and tried to block Don's hands as much as possible and threw punches from below. The Predator dealt a huge number of blows to the body and bloody abrasions appeared in the area of the ribs. Fry made several attempts to head to the face and improve his grounded pound. In the 11th minute, the referee stopped this unanswered beating, and Don went to the semifinals of the tournament. Mark Hall tried twice more to defeat Don Fry, but to no avail. The Predator both times won ahead of schedule by submission. In the semifinals, Don faced all-around fighter Brian Johnston. He had a black belt in judo and was a Golden Gloves winner. Johnston, like Fry, knew how to wrestle and fight in the stands. Which of these versatile fighters will prevail? After the start of the duel, the Predator came up to the opponent with an imposing gait and abruptly made a pass to the legs. Brian defended himself, threw out a good knee, and the fighters grappled in the clinch. The athletes fired at each other with knees, and control passed from one to another. Johnston landed a successful punching attack, hitting Fry close to the cage. Brian began to dominate from the stance, and Don made the right decision in the third minute he pulled off a takedown and landed multiple shots to the ribs from behind. After an unsuccessful attempt to get up, Johnston somersaulted and ended up on his back under Fry. Don from side control delivered a powerful elbow to the eye, and Brian gave up. The Predator made it to the finals, but could not defeat the titled wrestler, Mark Coleman. Fry received his first loss of his professional career, and his record was 6-1. After that, Don took part in the last tournament for himself in the UFC called Ultimate Ultimate 96. He defeated all three of his opponents by submission, including in the final. He strangled Tank Abbott in the second minute of the fight. Fry retired from MMA in 1997 to pursue a professional wrestling career with New Japan Pro Wrestling and JPW and quickly became one of the company's leading healers. After spending four years as one of Japan's top Gaijin wrestlers, he returned to MMA. Don signed a multi-fight contract with the Pride Fighting Championships in 2001. He entered the ring against Dutch fighter Gilbert Ivel. The Dutch Hurricane was an experienced mixed martial artist with a 24-7-1 record and a good kickboxing background. Fry was much more muscular compared to his last MMA performance. Like a true patriot, he came out wearing a terrorist suck t-shirt in response to the September 11th attacks. Immediately after the gong, Gilbert performed a jumping knee. Fry landed a takedown, but was unable to hold the position. After a brief clinch, Don tried to use a wrestling move by grabbing onto the ropes and throwing a two-leg kick in a jump. Ivel landed several solid punches, pinning Fry in the corner. The Dutchman fought dirty, not the first time he poked his opponent in the eye, for which he received a yellow card. He was dissatisfied with the decision and proved the opposite to the referee. The doctors examined Fry's eyes, which were red and watery from the poking. 
and allow the fight to continue. Ivel again received a yellow card because he constantly grabbed the ropes, preventing Fry from executing a takedown. Still, Don managed to transfer the Dutchman to the ground and control him for several minutes. Ivel was able to get up and threw many dangerous knees. The fighters again grappled in the clinch, and the Dutchman began to grab the ropes when Fry tried to lower him to the ground. After a few remarks, the referee stopped the bout and raised the Predator's hand in token of victory. The Dutch Hurricane aggressively provoked Don to continue the fight, and for a long time could not come to terms with his defeat. In June 2002, Don Fry entered the ring of the Pride 21 tournament against Japanese professional wrestler Yoshihiro Takayama. The Japanese fighter had the advantage in arthropometric data. This U.S.-Japanese confrontation was later named the Fight of the Year. The duel began without reconnaissance. Fry landed a powerful series of direct blows to the head, and the fighters grappled in the clinch. In the style of hockey fights, they hit each other in the face holding their heads with one hand. This moment will forever remain in the cuts of the best MMA fights. Don began to hit more, and the Japanese fighter had a large hematoma on his face. Takayama made a beautiful throw, though, himself, and almost took off Fry's head with his knee. Both of them turned on their threshers, holding each other with one hand. Both hit hard, but stood on their feet. The Japanese fighter was the first to lose strength, and the initiative began to pass to Fry. The Predator began to hit more, and Takayama's eyes were very swollen from hematomas. After a short break, which the referee allowed, the fighters again entered into a hard exchange of punches, where Fry was more successful. Yoshihiro performed a takedown, but ended up on the bottom. Don turned on his ground and pound, and in the seventh minute, the referee stopped the fight spectacular duel, which was deservedly named the Fight of the Year. In October 2006, at the Heroes 7 tournament, Fry fought South Korean judoka Kim min Soo. Before the start of the duel, the fighters were ready to tear each other, but in the end, they touched their gloves in front of the gong. In the first five minutes, Don threw a lot of low kicks and worked from the beginning. In the third minute, Min Su hooked the American with a left cross and carried out a good attack with a series of direct blows. After a brief clinch, he threw Fry to the ground. Min Su took a full mount position and tried to destroy Don with his grounded pound until the end of the round. The second round began with a fight in the clinch. There were some good low kicks from both sides and a tight right cross from Fry. Don was already tired and breathing heavily. The fighters fired at each other from a distance with single punches. When suddenly, the Predator hits a right hook right to the temple. Minsu falls and drags Fry along with him. The referee stops the fight in the third minute of the second round. In January 2008, Don entered the octagon of the NLF Heavy Hands Tournament against American fighter Brian Pardo. Fry started the fight with a good jab. Pardo rushed to the attack, but Don met him with a short but hard right hook and knocked him down. Fry covered the lost opponent with several finishing blows and kept him in the guillotine until the referee stopped the fight. After that, Fry had four more fights and won only one. He hung up his gloves in 2011 with a record of 29-1. With his appearance in the cage at UFC 8 in 1996, Don Fry left an incredible mark on the world of mixed martial arts, both with his fighting prowess and unique style. His arrival became the prototype for what would later become the standard, the all-around mixed martial artist. The Predator was able to fight effectively at any distance and in any position. His career in the UFC and Pride Fighting Championships has marked him as one of the best MMA fighters. By his example, Don Fry showed that you should never give up and go towards your goal, despite failures and defeats. If you enjoyed this video clip, please put the like leave your comments and press the bell to avoid missing the next video.
And if you watch this video clip without a subscription, sign up for the channel right now. See you in the next video.